Let's face it, Massachusetts drivers have a reputation. People around the country see us as lead-footed, overly aggressive. And maybe they're right. In a recent all-state ranking of the 200 largest cities and metro areas in the country, Boston was ranked dead last for safety, with Worcester and Springfield just a few spots behind. But could a little creativity on our roadways change our habits? Tina Martin reports. Drivers may be caught off guard by these images, a crosswalk or a child playing with a ball. But they aren't real. They are 3D illusions. In cities around the world, safety groups have been trying them out in hopes they might create safer drivers. Around Massachusetts, drivers are open to the idea. Sounds like a good idea. Technology at, at its best. I think it's a good idea. Um, anything to help. I mean, people are ridiculous. It's, it's people drive not paying attention. I can see the pros, but I can also see some cons to it as well. Here in Boston, where speeding is a perennial complaint, city transportation officials have signaled they might be interested in trying tactics like these. But MIT professor Carlo Rotti says it's not a sure bet. I think it's interesting. I think, you know, certainly today they can help in order to make our roads safer. Uh, certainly depends on how people will respond to them. Mary McGuire with AAA Northeast has similar concerns. First of all, we're concerned that they could be startling to some drivers. If suddenly you're driving along and an image of a little girl with a ball pops up, it could cause a driver to slam on his brakes. That could cause a crash. While the image of the little girl raised questions for some, AAA driving instructor Todd Pluto points out that this kind of illusion isn't far off from what he already teaches in the classroom. We have some videos that shows uh, children running out with the ball or coming out between parked cars and things like that. So those are things that we teach them already. The one that I really liked was the crosswalk that seemed to be, you know, a foot tall going across the road that would really stand out. In the U.S., illusions like this one in a small town in Iceland would would violate our highway standards, but federal officials can grant permission to test the markings and ultimately approve them. It's not a proven technology. It's a new technology and there's not a lot of data to support that it's an effective technology, which is really the key thing. According to MIT professor Carlo Rotti, we might be better served looking to other kinds of technology to make our roads safer. But if you look at the future, just a few years from now, think about self-driving cars, you can do all of that just uh, using digital information. And Tina Martin joins me now. Tina, good to see you as always. You too. So this thing looks incredibly cool and very effective to me, to, to my untrained eye anyway. Uh, how quickly might we see some of these deployed around the city? Not very quickly at all. Um, the Boston Transportation Commissioner, uh, Gina Fiandaka, says they have other priorities. They're creating a bike lane on Beacon Street right. and a bus-only lane on Washington. So those are the priorities right now, although this particular method is not off the table. They are considering it. There's another method, a little bit different, a little less sophisticated, that's being used uh, by, uh, tell me the name of the individual again. I forgot who came up with this idea. Yeah, so it's a teacher. His name is Sam Balto at yeah. the Ellis Elementary School. Um, and on December 6th, they used a picture with Tom Brady's uh, face on a pedestrian um, <laughs> on a pedestrian side. We should be able to see that. I got to say... That one worries me a little bit because I would imagine a lot of rubbernecking, a lot of people, you know, turning to, to check them out as they drive by. Um, any word on how that, that worked? They slowed down for Tom Brady, Adam. Yeah. Right. Okay, well, let that be a lesson. Like true Bostonians. Tina Martin, thank you. Good to see you as always.